My name is Dr. Alex Force, and I'm a lecturer in materials chemistry in this department. My research group focuses on the development of new materials that can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help tackle the climate change crisis. I grew up in Coventry and then moved to Cambridge for my undergraduate degree in natural sciences. To be honest, I never much enjoyed the practical experiments that we had to do as undergraduates but I started to fall in love with science when I was a fourth year undergraduate student doing a part three project. From there, I went on to do my PhD with Claire Gray in this department. And after that, I moved to the University of California in America and started to do postdoctoral research on carbon capture. That was a fantastic opportunity because not only did I get to do all of this new science, but I also got to enjoy being in America and trying out new things like surfing. After that, in 2019, I moved to this department and took up this position as a lecturer in materials chemistry. We currently face a climate change crisis and as a society as a whole, we need a wide number of solutions to be applied in parallel, including new technologies and also changes to our behavior. In our research group, we're looking at a few different areas that can tie in with this problem. The first one is carbon dioxide capture. The idea here is to absorb carbon dioxide at places where it's emitted and then subsequently store it in the ground or make useful chemicals out of it. For this, we're looking at new materials and processes that can do this process in a more efficient way. Another area that we're interested in is energy storage and there we're looking at new materials that can store energy and we're again trying to understand how these materials work so that we can ultimately improve them. The thing I love about being a scientist is that when we're in the laboratory doing new experiments we get to observe new phenomena for the very first time. We get to see things that people have never seen before. Very often you don't understand what you're seeing in these experiments but you know deep down that eventually you or others will start to understand these phenomena. And it's that excitement of doing new experiments that makes me love this job. What advice would I give my undergraduate self? Well, I was always a bit of a worrier. I'd probably say, talk more to other people about how you feel. And I think if I had done that, I would have realized that everybody worries and everybody feels the same and you're all in the same boat when you're an undergrad.